This is the main train station in Cape Town and the commuters from all over the Cape Peninsula find themselves here. But the commuters have been very unhappy with the service of the trains. It's not entirely reliable but it's available so it's, it's a 50-50 situation for me. The, the service of Metro Rail Prasma is very bad. Yeah, I do service. I think it's a good service, but it's having some delays at this point of time. You know? We spoke to a professional journalist, El September, and has created a public Facebook page for Cape Town Metro Rail commuters to inform each other about trains and find solutions in real time. September also says Metro Rail management have been asked to testify at CCMA internal HR disciplinary hearings for commuters late coming at work. There's definitely mugging in trains. Um, train delays, that's every day. Um, it's the norm. Um, that's the norm, that's become the norm. And the danger is that we're starting to accept that norm. And that is something that should not happen. Mm -hmm. We should never accept the level of service that we're currently being exposed to. Um, it is the duty of each and every commuter to say that, but we don't accept this. We deserve better. We need better. Um, trains should be on time, irrespective of what the reasons behind those delays are. Um, it is Metrorail's job, it's Prasa's job. You need to sort out your, your issues. The train is not going to be a good thing. The train is not going to be a good thing. The the frustration experienced by commuters because of lack of service delivery and the burning of the trains, as you can see at the Salt River Depot, are some of the problems. The judiciary has not played their part in this whole, whole, in this whole um, vandalism and burning of trains, and that's the sad part because we've had what one person that's been successfully prosecuted. So why, why is more people not being prosecuted? Why is the police, our law enforcement, why are they not doing more to make sure that the persons behind this, that they are prosecuted? I know that there's also currently, I think it's three former Prasa employees that's in the, in the High Court in Port Elizabeth about incidents that are linked to either cable theft, but it's linked to Prasa Transnet, um, and it would be interesting on what comes out of those court cases. One of the things that has a major impact on train scheduling and the ability to deliver a transport system that is on time and convenient, it is cabling theft. The stealing of the copper cables, which controls the communication system on the railways. The Prasa presidential event for the new Cape Town fiber cable trains are being officially unveiled by the president at Cape Town station. But the commuters outside the station are expressing their dissatisfaction with the new trains. That is soon going to be an experience of the past because we are going to improve we are going for a demonstration on the features of the new trains conducted by Daphne Geister, a Prasa official. CCTV cameras, we have smoke detectors, windows that cannot open because we've got um, air conditioning. But I'm not going to take you to the driver, but just so that you can that you know the driver can now engage and talk to you. We spoke to the managing head of security at Metro Rail Western Cape Region, Mr. Quinton Furry. He says that safety is not an absolute guarantee for commuters, even with the state of art technology that is put in place. Mr. Furry, are the people sure that they not going to be mugged anymore and they're not going to be compromised when it comes to delays now getting to work. Look, I think first and foremost, what, what I must say, um, not even the SA police can secure or guarantee anybody's safety uh, within the uh, bigger uh, uh, South Africa. We spoke to the spokesperson of Prasa Metro Rail, Mrs. Rihanna Scott, who said that Prasa has completed its fifth year of its 20 years project to build more fiber cabled trains that will create more jobs in the Western Cape. The two trains that you saw today, T8 and T12, are one of the first 20 that was 
built by um, an overseas firm, but assembled in uh, South Africa, as the president says. From T21, it's an entirely proudly South African product. Yes, there are other manufacturers. Uh, Transnet Freight Rail has been building uh, locomotives particularly, but commuter rail, this is the first factory of its kind. It's yeah. overwhelmingly positive. It brings local content, it brings jobs to young people, it brings hope for the railways. Will the trains be on time? Will the commuters be safe in the train? As you have heard, the people are not convinced. But for the mere fact that action has been taken is a positive sign. I am Buitu Melozita reporting in Cape Town for Point of View.